God. To... <sighs> the things that I just saw in the long, dark plane, it frightened me to my core. I... I could. The... <sighs> the plane, it... I... I did not feel alone a single bit in there. It seemed... feel a lot better now that I'm out of it all. I feel much, much better. My body was in shock at times, but I knew how to push forward at least somewhat. There were Two main things that I did see in the in the in the dark plane. The first one mostly spooked me at first. I was undoubtedly frightened seeing it and I was extremely scared going further past them. It was a set of mannequins about oh God, like 17 floors in, or I'm sorry, rows in, sorry. And the, they just stared the they were only looking forward the eyes didn't move or the head didn't move at all but the eyes themselves they were just completely black and, and I'm not saying just the eyes themselves the eye sockets where the, they were supposed to be it was just a void I, I didn't want to go back any more to witness them so I just tried pressing forward when I got past them I couldn't help but get this feeling from behind that something was watching me that tingling that uh, that fear that just pokes your head in the back of it makes you feel like there was something there that it had to be there but I looked back and the mannequins were in the same exact position as they were before I don't know why or how 
And I don't know if I'm just feeling things because of the way the plane was. <sighs> Sorry. So, the next thing that I'm going to talk about was far, far worse. I don't even know how to explain it. I don't even know how I escaped it, really. I saw it coming from a distance, closer and closer. It was approaching my direction extremely fast. I couldn't make it out exactly what it was, but it was this pure void smoky thing. The distance of the plane really did help me um, try to escape in time. And while well, I'm I'm talking to this recording now, so yeah, yeah, you you guys do know the outcome. When I noticed it, it was moving slowly, and I was sure I was fine for a good little bit. One of the sections in the plane was this bathroom. I was lucky I was able to get into it before it noticed me. But before it came closer to me, Accelerated. It sped up. Uh, or maybe it was just my gut feeling, but when that happened, it basically took me into the fight or flight response, I would say, and made me bolt directly to the bathroom. I got as fast as I could to it and closed the door and held it there for as long as I possibly could. The, the bathroom was dark mainly because I didn't want to turn on the light in fear of alerting the monster. So I basically just sat there in silence. As it passed by me, I, I, um, sorry, give me a second. I heard or felt, uh, sensed, I, experienced this static sound just going right by me. It was pure just white noise. I, I had to assume it was from the thing, the creature. Though I couldn't really figure that part out. I then waited a good, a good amount of time after it passed. <clears throat> so after the 
monster passed by, I slowly, very, very slowly opened the door and peeked and I saw the shadow monster thing on the other side of the plane just moving <sighs> now I looked I, I looked over at the mannequins again because they were extremely far from the bathroom and I could not exactly make out their heads because there was this aura of black like misty dust or whatever smoke just this aura around them that uh, made me just want to look away as fast as possible I saw the exit <laughs> where it was daytime on the other side you could see the sun from there peeking into the plane. I had to choose whether I wanted to bolt there or try to sneak my way past there. I don't know if the monster would have been able to shadow thing monster I don't know if it is a monster or not but I had to decide whether or not I wanted it to be a bolt or a sneak because I if I alerted that thing the amount of ground that I would have had to cover would have been substantial, I would say. <sighs> Either way, <sighs> I decided to sneak, at least for the good first little bit, looking behind me constantly as I fear if the thing turns around, it would probably be the, be the end of me so I snuck my way to I would say about halfway while looking back and I I saw the sight that I didn't want to see the most <laughs> the monster it turned around I guess it reached the end or something it was moving a little faster when it reached me but it turned around and it started moving in my direction I could see the seats that it was passing by and see how it was getting closer with each seat it passes so at the end I decided to make a very strong sprint to the other side as fast as I could to the daylight right there and it started getting faster and faster moving closer to me uh, as close as I am uh, closer than I was even comfortable with and 
I was able to get onto the other side of the plane and into the daylight, where I closed the door behind me as fast as I could. I felt the static. I heard it. I was scared that it would be able to get past the door, but eventually, after me holding the door shut for as long as I possibly could, I heard the static go away. And that is... That is the end of that and uh, when I am started to record here. It was a very, very frightening experience on my end. I really do wish that there are no more experiences like that in the future but I feel like that right there was not my last experience with those frightening nighttime planes and I think I will probably have to eventually face those things again one way or another, I just hope that I am able to live past it, at least. On a far more positive note, the plane here that I am in is far, far different from the planes that I have seen in the past. So whether or not that the those dark long alleys are a boundary between different plane types or such, I do not know. For all I know, could just be a random stroke of luck but this plane that I find myself in I can definitely feel a lot more relaxed in it the static monster doesn't seem to be able to go past barriers so that is a nice thing that I have witnessed at least and I I am able to rest in this new plane the plane itself is actually it's it's another air, commercial airline airplane, but this one, um, from what I've seen, appears to have a second floor to it, which is not something unusual. I do know that some planes do have a second floor for a large amount of passengers, and it seems like this one is that. I I did check the snack places. It was mostly almond water, but to my solace, there was definitely some more food there for myself to be able to continue on. I... 
I am scared of the rest of the planes that I might witness. I do not know if I'll be able to do anything about it. I I just wish I'm able to get out of here as soon as I could. I am able to rest on the second floor and enjoy the at least somewhat change in scenery. The plane itself is as long as the first couple of planes that I've seen. And the only major difference is the second floor. I look outside of the window of the second floor and it does appear to be connected to the first floor. So it's not some kind of weird subspace or such. It's just an entirely new plane. This plane here does have some more comfortable classes, I would say. Uh, definitely a lot more comfortable seats up in the front. So, uh, I guess that is a benefit to me being able to overcome the trial I just did while being able to uh, I don't know I don't even know I will continue after resting a good bit especially in those comfy chairs <laughs> uh, they're pretty luxurious I would say I'm able to at least lay down on them somewhat it's kind of like a lay down sit pose and the way that the seats go I can almost be in a resting position though if I did want to fully sprawl out I would probably have to use an entire row for myself I am alone here from any and all signs that I have seen I do not believe I'll be able to find anyone I do not believe I'll be able to understand to the inner workings of this labyrinth well it's not really a labyrinth it's mostly just going end to end on a, on planes and there only seems to be really one direction I can go or maybe Well, I'll consider my options on where I could go now that I think about it. I have already found the exit to this plane. It seems to be not too, too far from here. And it's, again, on the opposite side of the plane from where I entered. So, at least that part is consistent for me. At least that I will be able to do and understand. Uh, even though that's the only thing I can really understand at this point. I wish I could have some company. I wish I could have some one to be with but all I'm to do is move forward and 
try to be able to go back to the place that I once was. I don't know if I'll be able to live a normal life after this or if I'll just be exceedingly uh, yeah, I don't even know uh, paranoid completely mind broken anything but I will try my best pushing forward since it is the only thing I can do at this point. Anyways, I'll push forward.